All right, so I thought I'd do something a little different here today. Um, I have not ever seen an actual video on YouTube of what a unlocked clarifier looks like on a PC-122XL here. And uh, so I thought I'd just do a video on that and show you the process of how to do it. So we've got this old unit in PC-122XL, and I've already unlocked the clarifier in this. So I'm going to show you uh, how it was done. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me... Uh, let me turn this over here. So we're on channel 19 as you see there, but we'll show you it piece by piece here if we can. Okay, so let me see. Let me get a pointer. So what we have to do is a few things. Um, on the back side of our clarifier, so the, the clarifier... All these knobs here are on a, on a separate PCB. They're not all just wired like you'd see on a maybe like an old older CB radio. Uh, these are all done on a PCB. So the first thing, just like really any, any clarifier we do that you're trying to unlock, you've got to uh, supply 8 volts constant to one side of your potentiometer on your clarifier, and you need to ground the other side. Um, so... If you follow this trace back down here, it goes to a resistor. I think it's about a 2.4K resistor that jumpers over to ground, board ground. So I've jumpered that here. So I've bypassed that resistor, and I've given one side of my clarifier potentiometer a hard ground. And then I've taken, I've cut the trace here. You can see that small uh, notch I've made across there. That was the old receive 8 volts coming in. That would be disabled during transmit on sideband. So that is that trace has been cut through. And I've added a wire here directly to my potentiometer for 8 volts. And I've basically just taken that 8 volts off of IC3 here, which is right here. And I'll, let me flip around the other side of the, the radio here. I'm going to pull this bottom or top cover off. And you see my wire coming up here. And I've tied into uh, 8 volts on IC3. And actually, I've tied off. So here's, here's the actual pin on IC3 that's got 8 volts on it. But I've just I've actually soldered to this, this point right here, which is coming off that pin. So that's where I decided to grab 8 volts from. And it works fine. And now once you do that, basically you're throwing your, your, your service manual PLL alignment right out the window at this point. So we've got our, our receive offsets here, lower sideband, upper sideband, and AM. And then we've got our transmit offsets here, lower sideband, upper sideband, AM. Now, oh, I forgot. Let me show you what else we had to do. So also now on the board, we have to do two things. So we're going to lift D25 down here which is right here. I just lifted it off the board one side and just kind of twisted it off to the side. I'm leaving it in there in case I ever wanted to put it back or if I sold this radio to somebody and they wanted to relock the clarifier, they could. Um, and then also R119. None of the resistors on this board are actually labeled what they are, but um, R119 is uh, right here. I've got my pointer on it. I've lifted one end of that as well. And it's basically on the cathode side of D24 and 25. So it's not too hard to distinguish looking at the bottom side of the board at the trace you can tell. So that that's it right there. R119 D25. Once those are lifted out of circuit now again um, well I guess I shouldn't say again but I've done another clarifier unlock video for a President AR144 once you unlock the clarifier, your transmit offset pot here is now disabled. But, and mostly, usually when you see um, alignment procedures after doing a clarifier unlock, they'll tell you to, that you're basically taking your transmit offsets and you're just using those. On this particular board here, um, actually, you can still use your receive offsets to set your transmit offset. 
So as you see here on this lower transmit offset, lower sideband transmit offset, I'm, I'm almost at to the extent of my, of my adjustment. I'm at the very top. So luckily, I can still use the receive off, offset uh, for lower sideband. And between these two, I'm able to get where I want to get. And it, it's perfectly stable doing that. And you usually don't see that um, described in any uh, post unlock alignment procedure, especially for this PC122 board, which is going to be the same um, basic procedure for a TR, uh, TR465 from Realistic or a TRC453. Uh, the PCB looks a little bit different as far as the traces, but the boards are identical. And maybe I'll do a video on, on those as well at some point. But anyway, um, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we take a, uh, we put, I'm going to inject a one kilohertz tone here from our arbitrary waveform generator over there. And the way I do this, I don't do it by using a, a test point on the PCB and looking at, a fr at the free counter. What I do is I look at the, the transmit, uh, output. So I'm going to be transmitting into an RF sampler there, which then goes up to a dummy load over there, dummy load slash power meter. And I'm going to be watching my actual output from the radio on this freak counter. So right now we're in channel 19. We are in lower sideband. And my clarifier is about centered. It's uh, not exactly where it was at when I, um, when I set the offset, but... It'll probably be close. Well, let's see where it's at right now. So we're keyed up now. And we're see we're at 27, 183945. So we're about 50 hertz off. But I'm going to move the clarifier here and you can watch our, our, our change. See there, we're moving up. And I barely touched the clarifier there. We'll see if we can get it back to where it should be at. Where I aligned it to. Here we go. Oh, I let it go. Let me try that again. Yeah, I'm probably never going to get it exactly where I had it when I aligned it. That's pretty close. That's about as close as I'm going to get it. All right, so what we'll do is on well, this next key up, I'm going to give it a little bit of a rest here doesn't get too warm on this next key up I'm going to show you so right here is your lower sideband transmit offset and your lower sideband receive offset and I'm going to show you how you can use those two in conjunction with each other and actually make a change on your output your offset frequency so we're going to key up again and I'm going to I'm going to get on the uh, transmit offset here we'll just start with that one and I'm going to move it it's blurry, I'm sorry. In order to do this with one hand on a, on a camera. All right, so now I'm moving. There you go. See, I'm moving my transmit offset a little bit. I brought it back down where it was at. Now I'm going to get on my receive offset here. Uh, let me get on it here. Find the detent. There we are. We're on the detent. Now I can move this one as well. You see? And I can move my, oh, I can, I'm actually, I'm setting the overall offset output by using both the transmit and the receive offsets here. And those two are right in the middle. And you can do the same thing for um, upper sideband, which are these two. And you can do the same thing for AM, which are those two. So let me switch to uh, upper. Uh, let's see. So now we're in upper. We'll look at that. And basically, when you're setting your uh, offsets, you want to set your lower sideband offset to be one kilohertz off your carrier frequency. So uh, if our carrier on channel 19 is 27.1850 megahertz, we want our lower sideband offset to be one kilohertz below that, 27.1840 megahertz, like you saw. In upper sideband, we want it to be one kilohertz above the offset. So here's upper sideband. And you see we're pretty close there. And again, if you needed to make an adjustment or after unlocking your clarifier, you can use both of these pots, the transmit offset and the receive offset for upper sideband 
to make this uh, adjustment. And then the same thing again, we'll turn off our, uh, our tone there and we'll just dead key on AM. So now we're in AM mode and we'll go ahead and key up and we'll see what we're looking at. So there's our AM. And again, this clarifier isn't sitting exactly where it was when I aligned this, but um, you get the point. At this point, you would use your AM transmit offset and your AM receive offset, offset in conjunction with each other in order to set your overall offset and your overall output. And that's about it, folks. There's your, there's your clarifier unlock procedure for a unit in PC-122. And like I said earlier, this is going to be very similar. Let me stop keying here. That's going to be a very similar procedure for both the realistic TRC-453 and TRC-465. And I might shoot a video on that to show that as well. But um, yeah, and this procedure works perfect. Uh, I, I guess you probably want to hear it. Let's uh, grab a mic, stick a mic in here. All right, so I got a mic in. What position? All right, we're in AM. Let's use this monitor radio up here and listen. All right, so we're on AM, channel 19. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Check, check, one, two. All right, there's AM mode. And let's go to upper. There's upper, got the uh, PC-122 now in upper. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Hello, hello, one, two. All right, let's go to lower. All right, we're in lower. And let's see, check, check, check. One, two, three, four. All right, let me, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can move. Here, I'll just do this. Let me hold this right here and move this back a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to let you hear. I'm going to just adjust. I'm going to turn the clarifier here as I uh, talk. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Check, check. One, two, three, four. Check, check. One, two. So you see it is definitely unlocked and working like a champ. And it's very, very stable. So... Yeah, I hope this helps uh, somebody out. Like I said, I have not seen another video at all on YouTube showing the uh, clarifier unlock procedure for the uh, PC-122. Uh, you could choose to get your 8 volts from some other place besides IC3. I chose to do it at IC3 right here. It works fine that way. It's nice and stable. Um, you could modify your PCB over here differently than I did. Um, I just did a quick jumper, like I said, from uh, from one side of the PCB here to the ground trace on this side. And just very simple, easy to do, nothing fancy. Uh, and then, you know, lifting R119 and D25, and then using all the receive and transmit offsets in conjunction with each other to set your output. So if you got a free counter, um, really essentially you need to have a free counter to do this. I mean, you could probably do it by ear based off of a radio, but it's not going to be as accurate as unless you do it with a free counter. Um, this whole bench here is running off of a GPS discipline oscillator. So uh, when I'm looking at a, uh, a frequency there, I know it is exactly what it's supposed to be. Uh, you're not going to get a better 10 megahertz clock than from the GPS network. So anyway, 73s everybody, and uh, I hope this helps somebody.